Today on Vintage Space, I am taking on the conspiracy theorist's favorite argument of how on earth NASA managed to get footage of Neil Armstrong walking down the lunar module's ladder if there wasn't somebody operating the camera on the surface. Seriously guys, it's NASA and they just landed on the moon. You think they could figure out the camera bit? All right, here is the quote-unquote contentious footage. It shows a very grainy Neil Armstrong climbing down the ladder on the lunar module's front leg. Conspiracy theorists say that the only way that camera angle would be possible is if somebody was standing on the surface operating the camera with a tripod. There just wasn't anything already on the moon to be taking this video footage. So that's partially true. There wasn't anything on the moon to capture that footage before Apollo 11 landed. So how was it possible? Well, because Apollo 11 landed on the moon and brought with it exactly what it needed to take footage from that angle. So let's back up just a little bit and talk about the fact that the lunar module came in two parts, the descent stage and the ascent stage. The descent stage had the massive descent engine, which the astronauts used for actually landing on the surface. The ascent stage was just the upper bit that separated, and this launched off the moon's surface to separate with the orbiting command service module. The descent stage wasn't just the landing stage. It also carried a lot of cargo that astronauts would need for their stays on the moon. The descent stage was divided into four sections, each of which could be used for storage. The fourth stowage area on the left-hand side of the lunar module's front leg, where the ladder was, held the Modular Equipment Stowage Assembly, or MISA. Among the items stowed inside Apollo 11's MISA was a camera. The camera was mounted upside down so that it could be firmly secured to the MISA with vibration isolators, and it also made removing it easier for the astronauts wearing their bulky gloves. The MISA pallet was designed to fold away from the lunar module's body when Neil Armstrong pulled a lanyard on the left-hand side of the porch, so before he ever got to the moon's surface. The MISA pallet was deployed, and the camera's lens was able to see the landing leg of the lunar module. Then Buzz Aldrin turned on the camera by pushing a TV circuit breaker inside the cabin of the lunar module. The camera switched on, Neil Armstrong climbed down the ladder, and the whole event was broadcast live to the world. The story of how that picture physically got from Apollo 11 to the Earth and then to everybody's TV sets is an interesting story in itself, which I get into in more detail in my latest blog post on Vintage Space over at Popular Science, so definitely check that out if you'd like way more information on this story. So what do you guys think? Does that answer your question, or are you still convinced that somebody was standing on the moon operating a TV camera to capture Neil Armstrong's first steps? Let me know in the comments below, and what other conspiracy theories about a faked moon landing do you guys always hear? Because I'd like to take some of these on, because really, it's been a long time. Can we stop pretending the moon landing didn't happen yet? Be sure to follow me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space for daily Vintage Space content, and I will let you guys know that I'm about halfway through my Apollo 14 live tweet right now, so there's plenty more on that mission to come. And with a new video going up every single Friday, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.